create your own destiny. Okay. And it's seeking education and support and building your confidence. Okay. Okay. So support your confidence. That's what it's all about. How did you get into doing that? Actually, last year, when I graduated college, I made a goal that I wanted to come back home and give back to my community. So I started a scholarship entitled Create Your Own Destiny Scholarship, which was awarded to a young lady at the Outreach Community Ministry Center, which is in Carroll Stream, Illinois. And I went there when I was younger, so I wanted to give back to that community and to that particular program. Okay. Why out there? Why not in the city of Chicago? You are from the west. You are actually from the city of Chicago, west side of uh, the city. Why not reach back into the community? Because you said when you came in that uh, you looked at the Maywood, and Maywood is not the way it used to be. A lot of abandoned buildings and homes and things mm-hmm. like that. Why not bring your platform towards Maywood My or, or or uh, Broadview or uh, the west side of Chicago. Because okay. you're a west sider. I'm from here, but I'm, I actually went to high school in the Wheaton area. Oh. So, I am back in this neighborhood. Oh, I go to, I know, I go to church here, <laughs> actually. I go to Glenn Miller's Church Life Christian Center okay. in Bellwood, Illinois. Okay. So, I'm always a part of this community. And that's on St. Charles Road? St. Charles, yes. Okay. I am right. a member of that church. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. And, um, the reason why I wanted to be or to give back to that community first is because they provided so much for me. They gave me a scholarship. They introduced me to community service projects. And the minority community in the western suburbs is kind of underrepresented. So I wanted to give those children an opportunity as well. Because okay. in the city, they have so many opportunities, so many mentoring organizations. So many places they can go to seek help. And in the suburbs, we don't really have that much for minority groups, especially African-American children. Okay. Okay. So, you, how active are you? It's your organization. How much time? You told me that you work two jobs. You have your yes. scholarship. How do you have time for your scholarship program? And you're the queen. So, yes. you have to make many, many appearances. So, uh, tell us some of the, oh, have you been in any parades or they're about to come up? I have been in a parade. I was in the DeKalb Parade last year. Okay. And as far as juggling all of my work and making appearances, I just have to stay organized. Okay. Um, I promote my platform every Tuesday. I'm actually a tutor okay. at the Outreach Community Center, the place that I gave my scholarship to. Okay. And that's the way I can give back to the community, promote my scholarship, Educate the youth, mentoring them, and actually I work in a position where I'm working with children. Every day I am a PATH after school coordinator. Okay. What what does a PATH uh, after school coordinator do? A mentor. I'm basically a mentor. I feel like a mother to all these children in the community of Glendale Heights. Okay. So I basically tutor them. I teach them etiquette. Okay. I teach them manners. Okay. Um, helping them with their homework. You teach them how to walk on a runway. How to? I be, teach the young how, girls how, when how they ask. Do, do you put books on top of their head and show them how to hold their tiara on on their head? I teach the young girls when they ask me. They always like, Miss Destiny, can you teach us um how to walk? Do this? I'm like, yes, of course. Okay. So you have two jobs. Yes. Do you wear your sash and your tiara to work? No. Why? I want to keep that separate. You want to keep it separate. Mm-hmm. Did you do it at first? No. No? I only wear my crown and sash when I have an appearance. Oh, or I I'm thought you I thought queens, public service. I thought when you're in a pageant you have to wear 24/24. Well, my invisible crown is always on. <laughs> the one God gave me. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, amen. So Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Oh man. So so you you won't get fined or anything if you caught on the public without your uh sash on or your tear on? Oh no. No. Cuz I know I've I been at many fine. events and co- doing live coverages and I've seen so many queens with their sashes on. And um there's one that 
did not have her, her sash on, but she was standing in the formation with the other young ladies at a club, and she got fined, or I guess it got swiped from her. Yeah. So I was oh, like wow. surprised. Well, are they that strict with you ladies not wearing your? Now, is there real rubies on top of there? Real diamonds? Yes, as real as they're gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so they give you a fake one? No, this is real. I worked hard for this. No, those are real. I work very hard. Those for Those are this. actually real stones. I'm gonna yeah. snatch it. No, I'm just kidding. Hard for this. But as far as um, wearing your crown, wearing your sash. Okay. When you work so hard for something, you want to get out into the community and show people what you've been working for. Okay. This crown, this sash. You want people to know who you are. Did you have it when you came inside the building? Or did you just put it on when no, you walked No, I had up? it on when I was driving. You had it? <laughs> people look like, what? They, look, they, they do. They always look at me like, who is this girl with this crown and sash on? Well, where's the bodyguards at? You know, you don't have no bodyguards or anything. I do always Security. Have, I do always have someone with me. Unfortunately, no one could attend today. What? Because of work. Hey. However, I had to get here. What, what's their name? I wanted what, to be on the show with you. Well, thank you. What's their name so we can get on? Get on now. You don't want to say. No. Was it mommy? Mm-hmm. Was it daddy? No, we just gonna leave it alone. We're gonna leave it. <laughs> oh, okay. You're like, oh, okay. I hear it in their voice. You're like, mm-hmm. I'm gonna get on them. Mm-hmm. So. Do you get any corporate sponsorships like McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's? Do you get free food, free donuts from Krispy Kreme or Old Fashioned Donuts? Do, 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 do they do they give you those type of perks as well? Can you just walk into a Wendy's and like have your sash on and like, oh, well, what would you like, uh, uh, Miss Black Illinois? Do, do they do that? Um, we do have various sponsors. Um, for the pageant, one of our sponsors was Organic Root Stimulator. And they provided me you can't with. Eat that. I could put it in my hair. You see all this hair? There is nothing wrong with your hair. Your it's, hair is beautiful. Right. I gotta it's, take it's, care of it. And, and ladies and gentlemen, it's real. Yes. It's not fake. I don't see no tracks in her head. I have to take care of it. I don't see it. no no kicker bugs in the back of her <laughs> neck either. And she got beautiful teeth. Her hair is straight. And Thank she, you. I'm not gonna say her age, but are you? A lot of guys probably uh, they're watching you right now. Are you single? Yes, oh, I am oh, single. I, I can't answer that I can't answer I'm like, should I? Yes, oh. I am. Oh, is he listening? You're like, mm. no, yes, mm-hmm. no, okay. So you're single, black, powerful, intelligent young lady. Educated. The career that you chose, is that what you went to school for? I have a bachelor's in health studies okay with a minor in business and i work in a sports facility oh so we do have the after school program there so a broadcaster is not your type you you want a jock <laughs> <laughs> you want a sports athlete you want someone like kobe bryant or uh griffith uh, you want a basketball player that's what you want oh you're shaking your head you're like yeah no 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 i want to get it for myself first okay i okay. do i would I do represent woman empowerment. Okay. And I do believe that a woman should seek anything that she wants to do, pursue her dreams, before she tries to get into a committed relationship. Mm, okay. So that's what I stand for. Okay. okay. Well, if y'all want to speak with the queen right now, Miss Destiny Lee, she is 2015's Miss Black Illinois USA. I said Miss Black Illinois, not Negro, Miss Black, Illinois, USA. And that's on equivalent as what? Miss USA, Miss Universe? Is it on that level? Or is this on a local scale? This is the premier pageant for okay. African American women. Okay. There actually are various queens right now. Okay. That are reigning in different states. That is a part of this organization. We have Miss Black Indiana, Miss Black New York, okay. Miss Black Washington, Miss Black Washington D.C. So it's many women across the United States that are a part of this organization as we speak. Oh, wow. and they all will be competing August 9th in Washington D.C. for Miss Black USA. Now, will this be live tele- uh, televised coverage or? How, how would this be done? It will be taping live. 
Okay. I'm not sure the details yet, but I will give you that information. Okay, sounds good. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to talk to her right now, you got to give her a call right now, 708-343-3906. As you can see, she is very beautiful. She is live on TV. So, give her a call right now, 708-343-3906. That's 708-343-3906. She would love to speak with you. And if you have any questions, she would like to uh, address those with you. Don't call in here with crazy uh, questions. And no, she ain't going to marry you. And no, you, no, don't answer those questions. I already did. No, I'm just kidding. No, but <laughs> Smooth 90.5 FM, WGSJ Radio. Phone lines are open, so y'all got to give us a call right now. Smooth 90.5 FM. FM WGSJBC Radio. Come on, give us a call. 708-343-3906. That's 708-343-3906. We're going to keep you dancing all day and all night. Smooth 90.5 FM. Y'all got to give me a call. 708-343-3906. Call now. Call now. 